one thing that I want to be very wary of is I don't want to speak as if, you know, I'm judging J- Japanese culture, you know, okay. like looking at it and I'm not making, and the things that I'm saying are judgmental. Like I don't, okay. because like I live here, I love it here, obviously. Clearly. You know, um, <laughs> clearly. Right. But you know, there is, I mean, sexism is still a thing here, you know? Mm. So, and I mean, it, it's, it's an issue that's being worked on and that women are, are fighting to change and it, you know, and there's guys that are fighting to change it too. But one of the things about Japan is that you've got is basically, uh, because it's such a hierarchical place, you have yeah. old guys making decisions about everything. Decisions about <laughs> the, everything. The are just elders. Made by old. Exactly, right? It's exactly <laughs> like that. So as a function I of that, them, I picture them in a temple just humming. Mm. <laughs> more, like in, more like in a board, in, in, in a bunch of suits, like smoking is closer. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> right? So... You know, so you have a lot of these old guys that are from a very, very sexist generation and they're still making most of the decisions. But how is that different from the United States? So, well, I think in the States you have a lot more, there's a lot more room for people that are real sharp. You know, somebody will recognize that and then push to get them somewhere. You know what I mean? Even women? Even women? Yeah, even women, you Mm. know? Um, And people that are like clearly have a good entrepreneurial sense or you know, have a good, uh, people that deserve to be successful, even though they're young, people will help them get there. And in Japan, you don't see that as much. Of course, in the States, people have to fight against that too. But in Japan, it's a much harder fight than it is. But do you feel like, do you feel like a lot of women in Japan are fighting for equality? Oh, absolutely. They are. Mm. Absolutely. They are. I mean, like, like the, the things, you know, Japan is still very, like a very, very much male dominant society. More um, so than the United States. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. So in terms of like equal rights for women, <clears throat> it's pretty low. Are, are there you some know, very so. deliberate mistreatment of women in Japan? Yeah. Like yeah. give me some examples. You know, I mean I mean one 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 example is is um, you know, on women being sexually harassed on crowded trains. Because the what? trains pack the capacity. So, you know, sometimes guys will just like reach up under their skirt or like, you know, you, you see this kind of stuff all the time. Well, not all the time, but like it, it does very much happen. So, I, I'm assuming more so than the United States. Oh, yeah, way more so. Because the thing about if you do that to an American woman, she's likely to punch you. You know what I'm saying? Or she's likely to like scream out and like embarrass you if you did some stuff like that. But Japanese women, oftentimes they won't. They'll just take it. So Japanese guys think they can just get away with it. So they'll just keep doing it, you know, and you have your, you know, you have guys that will stand up for women so that that doesn't happen, but there's still a lot more of the guys that do it. You know what I mean? But what's motivating the guys to be those type of guys if they exist in such volume? Just because they can, you know, because there's just like, there's no, like I said, there's uh people don't fight back against it as much. They, they do it because they can get away with it. You know, mm. and then the other thing that's happening too is that you have, you know, aside from the fact that generally people don't touch, the other thing you have about Japan is that you're dealing with a society of people where most people are extremely shy. Okay. At least my, not so much in Osaka, but especially Tokyoites, everybody's very, very shy. Okay. So what that means is you have a lot of people who just don't date, you know what I mean? You have a lot of people that go their entire lives as virgins, right? Um, Which is another reason why you have the low birth rate, right? So oftentimes these guys, they're just very, very socially awkward, you know, and they don't know what else to do. So they just do things that are very inappropriate, you know, or they become stalkers or whatever, right? So... 